that's from someone who should know what he's talking about. Can you build it or not? Well, yeah. I think so. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform? Yeah, sure. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. Hey guys, welcome back to Fault 4. And yes, we are, we are about to get started on building this huge teleportation machine. And it looks like we might have to use one of these... Um, uh, one of these empty building lots. I think we have like a empty building lot in the back here somewhere. But I think we are getting pretty close to the end. I feel like it. I feel like it because um, it does it does sound like we do need like a whole lot of stuff and oh, okay, done and done. But yeah, feels like we're almost done. It's just a matter of building this, talking to the Institute. Then I got a weird feeling like the Institute's gonna give us an option to kill somebody and then we gotta make a choice. Kinda like uh, Fallout 3, so hopefully we get it all done. Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Uh, figure out the plans yet? Did you figure out the rest of Virgil's schematics? I think so. Best I can tell until we actually try to put it together. Here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Cool. So, build the console. Build the relay dish. Build the beam emitter. Is that it? Okay. Wait, what? Optional build... what? Can you explain how this thing is actually gonna work? Let me break it down for you. There's uh, four main parts to this thing. One, a control console to input the code and process the signal. Two, what he calls a relay dish. That's what intercepts the, uh, the teleporter signal. Three, a molecular beam emitter. Gets pretty technical here, but... Uh, Looks like this is what translates your matter into energy for transmission. <sighs> Four, the stabilized reflector platform that you already built. That's what concentrates and reflects the molecular beam. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. All right. Let's take, the, take a look at the optional... Uh, request here. Search telecom sites for a sensor module. Where would I find a telecom site? Hmm. You know what? I'll get started on two and then we'll see if we can build the rest out. Okay, so definitely need a control console. What I can do is Console here. Fires two. Then relay dish. I think we should put the relay dish like here. Okay. Oh, okay, never mind. Solved that one. And lastly, 
the, the beam emitter, which luckily sits on top of this thing real, real easy. Looks like we need a whole lot of power, which luckily for us, we do have a small fusion core reactor thing. We gotta power this entire thing up. Okay, so... I'll get started by... I hook this up to this. So I can hook up that to that. That to that. And... I think I'll build a couple more of these street lights just to relay it to the uh, dish. So, let's see. I build any more of these things though? Ah, we can. So, build one here. Now build one here. There we go. And we have to get hooked up to that. So, well, I'm gonna move this out a little bit. Can I shuffle this a little bit over? Yep. There you go. All connected. Neat. Done it. Built a teleporter. Head back to Sturges and let them know what we've anything done. Anything I can do to lighten the load, or you know, if you need anything proofread. Sturges. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Hmm. Can we do a test first? Shouldn't we test it first? I wish we could, but we've only got the one frequency code. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the institute signal. And as soon as we do that. We've used our one and only chance. As soon as the Institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those Brainiacs won't be caught napping twice, that code we've got is useless. Hmm. I think I'm not ready yet. Where, Where's this guy going? Is he actually running to the signal right now? Dick move, man. <laughs> Oh my god, that camera really followed him. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Uh, yep. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. We don't die in the process. Just get on the platform. I'll do the rest. Okay. Hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh yeah. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the institute, and what they're up to. Yeah. Th this hollow tape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. Don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Please don't Hold kill on me. Hold on to your butt. Hold on to my ears. And how surprised are they going to be when they see the power armor roll up? Ooh, nice. Where the hell am I? Alright. Hello? Anyone home? Okay. 
see what he says. Insert this. Load halt tape. Uh, I have too many hollow tapes. Which one is it? Ah, oh, there you go, network scanner. Cool. I want, I want to read the uh, log. Damn it. I am the most clumsiest freaking spy ever. Oh, okay, so this is us. And then these are probably two other people then. Have a look around. Are so good. Probably of CIT, so we're probably inside the CIT building. We're seeing this stuff. If I see anyone shoot at me, I am gonna totally blow them away. Okay. Can't teleport back. Not our own, on our own, anyways. things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Um... You know, I don't just... Useless. Do stuff. Oh. Well, looks like we don't have much choice. We're going into the elevator. Oops. And turn off my goddamn light. Alright. See where we're gonna go. Be safe. It's I kind of imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I've heard things. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. Nice. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that could wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Yeah, I'm still here for my son. And this just feels like a trap all the way through. Like, who has a specific hallway that leads you to places like this? This is definitely a trap, isn't it? Is that him? I'm gonna... Go ahead and help myself. Can't pick this. Um... Yeah.
Got him right there. Ah. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. It is him. Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? Uh, I'm your mom. Sean, it's, it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Are you okay? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Open the door. Sean! Open the door! I don't know you. Go away! Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Father. Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Um... Shot. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Mm. Me, Sean. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now. I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined you have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son well your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. it's good to finally meet you after all this time it's me i am sean i am your son holy shit how is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. Um... Awkward. Moment when your son is older than you. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Hmm. I think I get it now. I think I see where this is going. Then perhaps you already understand why it was necessary for the Institute to acquire me. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human. DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. 
in this wasteland. Radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Mm. I'm so surprised so much time has passed. 60 years. So much time. Wasted. I know. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Maybe about Kellogg. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Do you use him, question mark? You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Um. I'd like to know what this option does. Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often, but what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? All right. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. But why you, though? But, Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? 
Isn't that what you want? But to stay here, though. You want me to stay here in, in the Institute? Yes, that is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Mm. Don't know about that. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Mm, sure about this. Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. Mm. Still don't know. I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Okay, then. Sean, uh, about this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. Um, it's a strange choice. It seems like a strange choice. On more than one level. I can understand how it might seem that way. It was. It is something new. New discoveries are always welcome. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. But I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him like you would a real boy? Mm. Just don't know. This is all... It's too much. I just don't know anymore. I understand. You've been through quite a lot. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but... If in some small way the boy's presence can help... I hope you'll keep an open mind. That is... That is just messed up. Just a little bit. Because we haven't seen him until now, and that... Sean? Perhaps someday our synths can reclaim the Commonwealth. Okay. I got a feeling he is a little bit brainwashed. Just give it a couple minutes to. Oh, there you go. Now here's the password. We're gonna have a little peek at it a little bit here. Gonna self to everything around me. Apparently, when we encountered him, he's over a hundred years old and pretty freaking violent too. Apparently they have an FEV lab, which you guys don't know is the uh, horse evolutionary virus that created the uh, screamings. I think that was apparent in, I think it was like Fallout 1, and then when Fallout 3 came out, they really explained it. 
Carlson, Weapons, about phase three. Victor Zimmer is offline. Wait, isn't Zimmer the the guy from all of three? I gotta really play that game again to really figure out what's going on. In program function, okay. I'm guessing they do have like the SRB is actually hunting down since that escaped. Uh Okay. You think he's a little bit brainwashed though. Go one lower and see what happens. I really want to see what's going on. Ooh. Almost what? done. I just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past it's the projected lifespans. It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thanks again. Of course. We're all looking forward to working with you. Wow. Apparently that synth didn't even say anything. Greetings. There you go. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? Mm, what's available? What can I requisition? I have access to a modest selection of arms, armor, and other items approved for use in field missions. Yeah, let's take a look. I'll take a look, sure. Um, Institute with pistols. I'm definitely taking this, thank you very much. The last thing we need is more synths bumping into walls. Alright, that's all for now. You can resume your duties. If you require maintenance, please file a report with the facilities division. Remember to practice good sanitation habits at all times. Okay then. I totally missed the uh, conversation, but... If you encounter a hazardous chemical spill, please alert the facilities division immediately. Is it true Food Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want Supplement 77. I am sorry, sir, but that supplement is no longer available. Useless machine. You're here. Glad you made it. Oh. Good morning. Would you care for some pre-processed nutritional supplements? Um, what you got? What have you got? I can offer a range of nutritious and great-tasting food supplements. Food Supplement 7 is very popular for its spicy flavor, and Food Supplement 91 is our newest offering. Yeah. I'll take a look. Sure. Food packet and bottled water. Not even food supplements. Lame. I'm actually really confused now. I'm just opening up doors, going through places that I'm not supposed to. Oop. And yet they still have locks like this in an advanced institute nice. like this. 